If you're a truck dispatcher or a freight broker, load boards play a very important part in your work life. And if you're in Canada, you would have heard about LoadLink. Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, lead trainer and consultant at Tricadium. Tricadium is a leading training, consulting and technology solutions company serving the trucking industry in Canada and the US. Today I will give you a quick demo of LoadLink. LoadLink is Canada's number one load board which has the largest network of trucks and loads. It is also a great platform to build long-lasting relationships with the customers that you work through LoadLink. Today's demo is mainly focused from a truck dispatcher point of view. I will show you how as a truck dispatcher you can effectively use LoadLink to find profitable loads for your trucks. So let's jump right into it. I already have the LoadLink application installed on my computer here. To log in, I just double click, enter my username and password and hit enter. This window on the right hand side can be used to chat live with LoadLink customer service team in case you need any support. I will close it for now. On the main screen, there's an option to post equipment and there's an option to post loads. Equipment option is used by trucking companies to find matching loads. Loads option is used by load or freight brokers to find matching trucks. For this demo, I will be using equipment option to find loads. To find loads, you need to do a truck posting. To post a truck, I just right click and click on add. I see this pop-up screen where I will be entering all the details for my truck for which I am looking for a load. The first option that we see here is the availability date. You need to choose the date when your truck is available to pick up the load. This can be today's date or any future date. Let's choose today's date for this demo. Next we need to select the origin where my truck is available to pick up the load. Let me choose Ontario as the province and Toronto as the origin city. Next option is for radius. If I click on the drop down, I have options from 50 to 400 miles. Keep in mind all distance in load link is in miles. This is the distance which my truck needs to travel empty around the origin to pick up the load. These are all called empty miles or dead miles. Ideally I would like to keep it to the minimum. However, you will have to keep increasing the radius if you do not see enough matching loads with a smaller radius. For this demo, I will choose radius as 100 miles around Toronto. Then I need to select a destination. LoadLink does not give an option to keep the destination open. Even though you might be open to sending your truck anywhere, you need to select a destination. LoadLink only does point to point matching. For destination, let me select Illinois as the state and Chicago as the city. Radius I will keep maximum as I want to see all the loads going from 100 miles around Toronto to 500 miles around Chicago. Then there's an option of corridor search. You can either select corridor search or you can keep it unchecked. Let me explain you about the corridor search option. Let's say I choose Toronto as the origin with 100 miles radius around Toronto. And let me choose the destination as Chicago, Illinois with radius around Chicago, Illinois as 200 miles. If I do not select corridor search option, load link will only show loads originating 100 miles around Toronto area and delivering to 200 miles around Chicago, Illinois. So this is how the matching is done. So if I turn the corridor search on, load link will also show loads on the way from Toronto, Ontario to Chicago, Illinois. So if I draw these imaginary lines, which is actually the Toronto, Ontario to Chicago, Illinois corridor. Now I will be able to see the loads on the way from Toronto, Ontario to Chicago, Illinois. So I will be able to see the loads here. This can be a very good option if you're looking for loads on a particular route or corridor. For example, if you're looking for LTL loads on a particular route. For this demo, I will keep the corridor search option unchecked. Then there's an option of commodity description and you can write some comments which you want load brokers to see. I will just write test here. Then you need to choose if you're looking for a full truck load shipment, less than truck load shipment or both. I will select both as I can always filter through the options later. 
Next, I need to choose the type of trailer that I have. For example, dry van, dry box. I could choose reefer, straight truck, flatbed, step deck, or any other type of trailer. Let me choose a van slash dry box for this demo. Then you can see posting attributes. For example, if you have team drivers, you can choose team or if you have Vente dry van or you have a tri -XL trailer, so you can choose any of these attributes here. Alternatively, I can also mention about these attributes in the comments section here. I will not select any posting attributes for now. The reference option is just for your internal use and I will leave it blank. I will now click on save and this truck posting will be posted on load link. Let me cancel this one. Before we look at the matching loads, let me quickly go through some important information on this screen. You can see PI7 and PI30 here. PI stands for posting index, which is actually the truck to load ratio information for the last 7 and 30 days respectively on this Toronto to Chicago lane. This gives you information regarding the amount of competition on this lane. For last seven days, for each load that was posted on load link, there were 3.39 trucks posted. And for the last 30 days, there were 4.71 trucks posted for each load. Lower the PI number, easier it will be for the carriers to find loads and therefore rate will also be better. If I go back to load link, you can also see RI90 data. RI stands for rate index and this number 2.05 is actually the average rate per mile for last 90 days on Toronto to Chicago lane. This can be a good reference point when you want to quote a rate to a load broker on load link. I will be doing a more detailed demo on posting index and rate index in a separate video. Also please keep in mind you only see this posting index and rate index data in certain subscription packages which load link offers. Now let us look at the available loads from Toronto to Chicago lane. If I double click anywhere on this row, I will see all these available loads. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see 65 loads available. This is the main screen of load link where you will spend most of the time making phone calls to load brokers trying to book a profitable load for your truck. If after your first login, there's a new load posted by any of the freight brokers, that load will show as a live lead at the bottom of the screen and it will be a live scroll from right to left. For example, you can see this load at the bottom of the screen now as we are logged in into a live load link. You will also hear a notification sound three times like the one you can hear it now. And the new live load will also be highlighted in yellow on the main screen like you see these four loads on the top highlighted in yellow. So these are the loads that have just been posted by different load brokers. Let us now understand how to make sense of all this information on the screen. At the bottom left of the screen, there's a legend option. If you check this option, you can see the full forms of all the short forms, for example, QP, TCC, EQF, and so on. Let me close this. First column QP stands for quick pay. If you see a dollar sign in front of any company, that means that company has been approved for factoring by the factoring company that load link works with. You can ignore this option if you're working with your own factoring company or if you're not factoring your invoices at all. Chat option you will not be using. You can use this to chat with other load link users. However, typically as a dispatcher, you will pick up the phone and call rather than chatting. CNT stands for contacted. This is a good option to keep a track of all load brokers you called. For example, if you called on this load from Toronto, Ontario to Green Bay, Wisconsin, you can simply double click on the phone icon here and it will change color. Now you know this load broker has already been called so that you don't call them again. Then TCC stands for TransCredit Canada, EQF means Equifax and TCU stands for TransCredit USA. This is basically the credit score for the load brokers from these credit agencies. If you're not factoring your invoices, these credit scores are a very good indication of how soon you will get paid for your invoices. Any score that is in green is a good score. And if the score is in red, you should be cautious while booking a load with that load broker. TCC and EQF is for Canada based load brokers. So TCC score of 85 to 100 is generally green. That means higher the better. EQF score of 1 to 15 is generally green, which means lower the better. TCU is the credit score for US-based brokers. 
Again, anything from 85 to 100 is green and is a good score. If you click on this Equifax and Transcredit Canada and Transcredit US tabs on the right hand side, you can see more in-depth details about the credit scores of the brokers like average days to pay and other important information. Next few columns give you the details about the load. We chose Toronto as the origin and destination as Chicago. DIRO means direction from origin, DFO means distance from origin, LD is the loaded distance and DFD is the distance from destination. For example, let's look at this load. So this load has to be picked up from Mississauga, Ontario, and it has to be delivered to New Albany, Indiana. Now load link is telling us Mississauga, Ontario is 17 miles west of Toronto. And this 17 miles will also be your dead miles or empty miles. So you will have to travel 17 miles west of Toronto to pick up this load. Once you pick up the load, your truck will be traveling 581 miles, which is the loaded distance from Mississauga, Ontario to New Albany. And once you deliver the load in New Albany, Indiana, the distance from destination is 299 miles. So this is the distance between New Albany, Indiana and Chicago, Illinois. This distance might not be that important to me because once I deliver the load in New Albany, Indiana, New Albany, Indiana will become my origin for my return trip. Next column is the vehicle type. V means the load broker is looking for a dry van. VR means load broker is okay with either dry van or reefer. Next column is the size of the shipment. T means full truckload shipment and L means less than truckload shipment. So if you see T, that means the load broker has a full truckload shipment. Then you have this attributes column here. Next column has the name of the company which posted this load. Then you can see the date and time when the load was posted. Last column has some comments posted by the load brokers. Let us go through some comments. Here you need to call Jake at extension 124. He has three skids and needs a tailgate on delivery. The next one that you see here is one drop in Livonia, Michigan. So what it means is this load has one pickup and two drops. So accordingly, you'll have to quote extra for the additional drop. So the process to book a load on load link is simple. You just need to identify the load you want to call. Look at the phone number on contact tab on the right hand side here. Pick up the phone and call. Now when you call, you should have a minimum per mile rate you should get for the load so that it is a profitable load for you. Or the overall trip should be profitable because if your outbound trip is not profitable, you need to ensure you should cover the deficit on the return trip and vice versa. Let's look at an example. Let's say you want to make a phone call to this load broker who has posted this load from Concord, Ontario to Borden, Indiana. Now if you look at the distance here, Concord, Ontario is 17 miles northwest of Toronto, Ontario. And these are your empty miles. So once you travel 17 miles, you'll pick up the load, deliver it to Borden, Indiana, which is 604 miles. So that's the loaded distance. And then this 300 miles, which is the distance from Borden, Indiana to Chicago, Illinois, is not relevant for you here because on the way back, Borden, Indiana will become my origin. So I don't have to go to Chicago, Illinois. Let's say your minimum rate per mile is $2.20. To quote a rate, for this load, you will have to add your empty miles, which is 17 here, add it to the loaded miles, which is 604. So if you add these two, you get 621. So you multiply 621 by 2.20, which is the rate you're looking for this load. So you get $1,366 approximately. So you can round it off to the nearest whole number and you could quote let's say $1,400 for this load. So that will be $1,400 Canadian dollars. So load link is a Canadian load board. So all the rates that we're talking in this demo are in Canadian dollars. However, if you are quoting a rate to a US based broker, you would be expecting a rate in US dollars. To quote the rate in US dollars, I can convert this 1,400 Canadian dollars into US dollars as per today's exchange rate and accordingly quote in the US dollars. There are a lot of other options in load link which you can use. There's an option of map leads, you can search for other load link members and you could search for carriers if you're load brokers. In this demo, I just wanted to keep myself uh, restricted to just using load link as a load board for finding loads. Now, if you see load link is a pretty simple software to use. What is more important is to understand the operational nuances when you use it to run your own successful trucking business. I come across a lot of new carriers who get their trucking permits, who get their loading subscription, 
and they think that they can easily book profitable loads through LoadLink, which is not always the case. There are a few challenges you need to overcome. First of all, you will notice there is a lot of competition on LoadLink. Whenever there's a load posted on LoadLink, there are several carriers calling for the same load. And you will notice when you call on a particular posted load, it's already covered, it's already gone by the time you call the freight broker. Speed of calling is very important here. How will you ensure that you can call on a particular load before anybody else can call on that load? How can you use technology to make the calling process more effective? Effective communication and negotiation skills also play a very important role here. You should also focus on getting repeat and regular loads from the freight brokers that you book your loads through LoadLink. How do you identify those freight brokers on LoadLink who not only pay you fair, but who also work for the interest of their career partners, not only for the shippers? Another thing that you will notice is a lot of freight brokers do not work with new carriers. If your trucking permit or your MC authority is typically less than three to six months, you might face relatively more challenges in the beginning. At Trucadium, we offer a very practical and hands-on truck dispatch and freight broker training to equip you with the right skills to succeed in your job or in your trucking business. Our real-life case studies and examples make this training very engaging and interactive. All the training sessions include a live load link demo, which will give you practical tips on how to leverage LoadLink's vast network to start and grow your trucking business. You can join our training sessions virtually from anywhere in Canada and the US. To know more, please visit our website www.tracadium.com. You can also call us at 437-925-1428 or you can email us at info at tracadium.com. Last but not the least, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in case you do not want to miss our future videos. Also, please like and share our video. Thank you very much.